Well, downtown Johnson City is full of unique places to shop, and this morning we want to share the story of one business in particular, and that's Terrarium, the plant store. It opened in 2020, has been growing a love for plants ever since. Here with more now, teacher turned store owner, but still teaching, Carrie Sluter, and then Blake Tester along with her. Great to have you guys. Thank you. Thanks for having Thank us. You. And you brought in all kinds of good stuff. It just brightens the mood, I think. You know, plants around your home makes you feel good. Plants make you yeah, feel better, for sure. And you guys have loved plants, you were telling me, all your life, and so this was kind of a dream of yours. This is kind of a dream. COVID and quarantine kind of sparked that dream on to, if, if I'm not going to do it now, I don't know when I would, was going to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's been, the community has been uh, really um, welcoming, and we've had a lot of success. We found some great people like Blake, uh, who helped <laughs> run the store, and while, while we're teaching still, so everything has just really fallen into place. Because you're still teaching. I am still Full -time teaching. Full-time teacher. Yes. So good to have you here today. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and you guys brought, I mean, just when you walk past the store, it's so inviting. It's like that, it's that store that really pulls you in, that you want to go in yeah. and That's check it out. That's what we want. Yes. The lights. All right, well, tell us about some of the plants that you brought this morning here. Okay, so this is a Monstera Deliciosa. Everybody loves a Monstera. They can get huge in the wild. They can get huge in your house if you have the room for it. This is one of our most popular plants. It looks very exotic, but it's actually very easy to care for. That's what I was going to say. How easy is it to, to keep alive? Very easy. <laughs> very easy. easy. So you just can't, just don't give it more attention than it, is, than it deserves. Okay. Right? So just treat it like any normal plant, even though she is beautiful. So very, very popular. So we have things like the philodendron silver sword that's a little more exotic and nice. the monstera deliciosa albo that's so this so is pretty. one of our rare plants that we carry we have several in stock right now so she's desired for the color yeah i was going to say the colors are beautiful yeah, in there yeah yeah mm -hmm. she's a little more expensive but she's definitely worth it <laughs> yeah. i love how you talk about all of them like people they are and a lot of people talk yeah. to their mm -hmm. plants. Yeah, they, you know, they'll develop personalities actually if if you allow them to, I think, in your home. And then we have this some very beautiful. common things like the snake plant that we get, you know, my grandmother had those, but this is a moonshine variety. So we have um, some common plants with a little flair to them. Okay. And then Blake. Um, love, I absolutely yeah, love that. Yeah, he's wonderful. So, Blake, will you tell us a little bit about your terrarium? Yeah, so terrariums are an enclosed um, habitat or an ecosystem that it contains all of its moisture that it needs to survive. You can also add some different types of bugs to treat the mold. Um, so we just layer it up by layer, and it, we would start off with a rock base and then some soil and some charcoal to really help it filter out, and then you would just add your normal foliage type plants like ferns and different oh. kind of plants as well that and then you can just decorate beautiful. it just how you look at that and yeah. you guys actually do you do classes you do events you do all kinds of cool stuff yeah. we do so we had a wonderful class last night we did a succulent dough bowl class we had a, it was really a full house we are doing um with Masterpiece Mixers this Sunday. That's we actually have sold out of tickets, but we're gonna rebook hopefully for February again with Masterpiece Mixers, where you get to paint and then you do, a, do a, an enclosed terrarium. And uh, we're, we're, we're gonna have about four classes for Valentine's Day. That is so cool. So and we gotta got point out planned. this one because we're almost out of time, but I love this, the Swiss cheese kind of. Yep, mm -hmm. Swiss cheese. You wanna talk about that one? Yeah, so Swiss cheese is a vining monstera. Um, and it just grows about anywhere. It needs a lot of bright light and uh -huh. water about once every two weeks, once every week, depends on how dry your house is. But yeah, it's a beautiful and abstract piece of plant. That is cool. Are you surprised by how, the response from the community for the success of your store? I am. I, I thought we would be successful. I just felt that we would be, but I had no idea how the community was going to embrace us and really welcome us 
into the, into downtown. So yeah, yeah, we're we're pleasantly surprised. That is wonderful. Well, thank you for coming. Thanks for bringing all these plants. We're going to give everybody the information, as she said. Great events, all kinds of education on how to keep your plants alive. There's more information at their website. You can also check out their Facebook page, or heck, just stop by and go visit them in downtown Johnson City. Such a cute place, the Terrarium Plant Store. We'll be right back.